checking out a new location yeah. and it's a bottle dump and I think we're going to call this one Jungle Dump because uh -huh. it's a jungle out It here. is, it's, look at it, it's crazy and my legs are so stung right now so we're just hoping we'll find something to make up for the journey getting here. So. Yeah and um, I think we're going to have to come back in the winter. Yeah, definitely, because it looks like quite a big dump. So let's see if we can find anything. Fingers crossed. not one but two cheeky little pipe bowls so you can see one just sticking up right there I don't know if you can see it Ta -da. oh and it's a plain one but still we can make little pipe house cottages out of the plain ones as well and there's another one here oh and that one's plain as well but we'll keep them we'll make things out of them and down here I can see a pipe bowl and pipe bowls are always good. There we go, pipe bowl. And you know what we can do with these, even though it's a plain one, doesn't matter. Found part of an absolutely beautiful tile here. I'm tempted to keep that actually. It's gorgeous. I have never seen anything like this. I just wish it was whole. It's a it's a bottle with a little spout and it's square. A square top. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna keep that and I'm gonna look it up because I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, just spot a lovely bit of glass there. Beautiful piece of kind of amber glass. I have a feeling that makes might make some lovely beads, so I'll keep that. And down here, I don't know how I spotted it, but look, can you spot what I'm spotting? It's only just sticking out. It's, I'd say, maximum level hard for spot the find. But you can just see the rim of it sticking out here, and it's one of our most common vines. There we go, it's a little glass stopple bopper. Probably from a sauce bottle. Well, oh, I just dug this up. I've always wanted to find a whole one of these bottles, but a good chunk of the neck and lip is missing, and this is called a flat back poison. A hobnail flat back poison. It's called a flat back because the back of it is flat. <laughs> but oh no, it says not to be taken on there and it's really damaged on the top. What a shame. Well, one day, one day we'll find one. More usual bottle dump treasures here. We have a little slate pencil for writing on a slate board and I've just pulled this up I think I don't think it's vulcanite I think it might be lignum vitae it's either lignum vitae which is a kind of word or it's vulcanite vulcanized rubber I can't tell it's really crusty it might have been burnt so I can't tell what's written on there sadly we'll take it home to scrub up Oh, and I just pulled up a little bone button, a very crude little bone button. So yeah, these are pretty usual bottle dump finds and always welcome. I found a um, marmalade jar and it looks to be undamaged. So I think I'll be taking that home. And here is a 
Vulcanite. Bottle stop. It's got an H on it. Can't quite read it. Something Edinburgh. So see that when it's cleaned up. What's that? Oh, it's a bit of a thermometer. Glass off a thermometer. Oh my goodness, what's this? It's an arm. It's a little doll's arm. Oh, that's so cute. Little hand. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Mum's found an arm. Little wee doll's arm. We never find arms. It's really short, look. Oh, that's brilliant. I can cast it. We never find arms. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just had to grab my camera because I spot one of our favourite finds down here in this old grown over bottle digger's hole. Ow! And my bottom is getting nettled. There. It's a plant pot. A tiny little plant pot. Oh, these are perfect. We absolutely love these. Perfect little plant pots. For growing plants in. Now it's very overgrown down here and there are lots of nettles trying to sting me. Ouch. Yorkshire relish. Can't see. Look it's all grass. It's all growing over. Okay let's see. Can be seen. Oh, oh, it's a piggy. Oh, it's a little pig figurine. Okay, so after finding my little piggy here, I think I might take it. It's bisque porcelain, and we know some other mudlarks that um, can make something out of these broken figurines, so we'll take that. But I kicked up a little. Oh no. It's broken. Maybe a little essence pot or meat paste pot. Oh. Oh. And a broken bit of doll's head. A bit of doll's head and neck. Oh, I bet there was there's way more. There's a little sauce bottle there. And there's some kind of whiskey bottle there. I wonder how much more there is here that we can't see because so overgrown. How annoying. Now here's one to look up. It says manufactured for Cranston and Elliot, Edinburgh. It looks like the bottom of some kind of plate. Cranston's I know is kind of a food shop. Pickle? Pickles, yeah, Cranston's pickles. Hmm. So that's interesting. Yeah, definitely one to look up. Okay, Mum's got a little mini handful of goodies. We've got a little pipe with a hand on it here. We can use that for printing. Um, and a bit of dentures. But there's no teeth. All the teeth have fell out. And a strange glass tubey thing, which we're not sure about interesting little treasures yeah look what I found one of my favorite things a beautiful cut glass bottle stopper how great is that I love it yay I just pulled out a little wee jam pot thing. Fantastic. I don't know how I spotted this actually, but down here is a little morning button. Look at that. Oh, I love it.
because this dump is so overgrown, we can't see around us where to look because it's just solid nettles and brambles. It's so difficult to see where to go to find bottle diggers holes. So I'm gonna send up little old Demelza. There we go, and Demelza has found us a new hole. <laughs> so there's quite a few dotted around this, quite a large area, so let's have a look down here. See if there's any treasure. So a lid there. Oh, interesting little lid thing. And a bit of spongeware. There's lots of bits of spongeware. And there's another cheeky vulcanite here. What's it say? Something. It says something. Definitely says something. <laughs> I think it's something Edinburgh, but I can't make it out. I'm getting stung on my bottom right now, but I'm in a hole. And <laughs> it's the best part of a swan figurine, but the head is gone. Almost whole. And there's a piece of something, ceramic. Oh no, poor thing. What else have we got in here? I see a pipe bowl. The chip out of it and it's, um, oh, wait a minute. It's got a little boot on it. Or a or a thorn. It looks like a it? looks like a thorn. Oh yeah. It's like a rose's thorn or something. Yeah. Oh, and a beetle just ran off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So oh cool. That's unusual. It is. I've no. It's like a spur. Yeah. How weird is that? Strange. It's like a cockerel spur or something. <laughs> this is a massive jar lid. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness, that's giant! What the? What on earth? I think it's got writing on it. That is the biggest jar lid we've ever found. I know. That a is jar huge. Jar Lidosaurus Rex. St. Helens. Look how big it is compared to my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it says, sure. And Co. St. Helens. Oh. Actually, look. I just found a, just found a tiny one. I found a tiny one. Well, tiny compared to this. Oh, there's a cod marble behind you. Okay, I hope that is what I think it is. Yes! It is. It's a little doll's dish. A doll's tea set dish. Or a doll's house dish. Plate. But there's something unusual next to it. It looks like a straw. Um, it's glass. Oh, that's weird. Is it some kind of stirrer? Wow, that's quite beautiful. Wonder if we could make something out of that. That's really cool. So a little doll's dish and a random stick of glass. Hmm. Something. Oh, th does that say? Oh, Dal Keith. Oh, cool. I'll take that. Leave the rest. There's another big area here that Demelza has found for us. See a little bottle down here. Wow, it's huge.
broken doll's head, um, a pipe bowl, doll's broken doll's head, pipe bowl, and I found some spotted something else down here, but I've lost it now. Oh, and I spotted this from over there. Isn't that amazing? What a shame it's broken. It's a blue cotton reel ink bottle. Oh my goodness. What a shame. That's a tragedy. I'm still keeping it there. Yes. Oh, I've spotted what I missed and it's a vulcanite, another vulcanite. So wow, we just got to this part and we found loads already. It's a bit of a broken pipe bowl there. That would have been nice if it wasn't broken. All sorts of bits and bobs. Oh, that's nice coloured glass. I wonder if we could make beads with that. Hmm. God. We've got a little collection that I've collected that from so, down here. That is so cute. I know, this is my favourite, this tiny little bottle. It's like a mini wine bottle. Tiny wine bottle. We've got a little um, pot there, meat pot, some more little bottles. Um, I don't think I'll take this, but it's a bovril. And there's a broken ginger beer. I think it says, um, I don't know what it would have said. Something ginger beer. Is that? Is it leech? Leech. And Edinburgh. How cool is that? And then a, a fragment of potted meat. GW, Fulm Tree, Home Potted Meat, Southport. And there's two lovely bottles that they've left behind here. And you know what? I recognise these because they've got the little Scotsman on in his kilt. And we have a bottle just like this, but slightly bigger. Um, and it says Hendry's. I think it's aerated water. So this one's cracked on top, but this one isn't. It's in pretty good condition. It's a lovely little... Um tile oh wow that is a nice tile we'll go with our collection yeah we've got a little tile collection at home that we've collected from various dumps so we'll take that as well i think cool oh and i'm holding a little another little vulcanite what's mum got oh it's, it's a smelling, smelling salt it's a smelling salt bottle oh cool oh i like that that is good that is a good find <laughs> oh, your, your these, nose is so muddy. <laughs> these are a beautiful colour. Look at that against yeah. the sky. Wow. Love that. Oh, wow. We've got a beautiful little hall of vines here. How cool. I think this is what I think it is. Oh, it was. Oh, my goodness. It's just cracked into a million pieces. It was a clay pipe. Oh well. We're losing light quickly. But we'll definitely have to come back to this dump I think. It's massive. Oh, and there's a little pipe bowl here. I think it's just plain. Oh no, what's it got on it now? Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a fish. Oh my goodness. I have never seen a fish. That's amazing. Wow. I love it. Oh, I heard something from over here. What's one found? Loads of bottles there. What is it? Oh, it's an alley gob. Oh, it's a knuckle bone. Oh, lovely. We haven't found one of those for ages. There you go. Mum's got a mini bottle and it's a little stopper. I don't, I'm not sure what it says. Oh, does it say pleasure? Yeah. It looks like it says pleasure. 
We've found a pleasure bottle stop before, I'm sure. Pleasure. Dumb Bar and Co. Well, that's strange. That is weird. <laughs> Alex has found a very strange marble. It's black. Yeah, it's really dark. Hold it up to the light so Me. you can see through it. No, I don't think so. Wow. That's strange then. Feels quite heavy. It must be some kind of clay. Hmm. Here's another bottle stop. <sighs> Something lease, I think. A W Co. And then it's got E L inside. Hmm. Alex just found this <laughs> bit of doll's face just lying there. It's quite cool. It's got the nose, eye and a little ear as well. Yeah, that's great. Oh, isn't she lovely? <laughs> okay, so here are some of my last finds. I got another clay marble. Um, oh, I got two broken doll set teacups, which might come in handy for putting things in. Two paste pots or essence pots and this beautiful spongeware and hand-painted egg cup that I'm hoping to use for something as well. Um, a little bottle, a doll's eyebrow and a beautiful swirly piece of glass. So there's some of the last finds of the day because it's literally getting dark out here so I think it's time to pack in. Mum's found a marbly thing and she's also found a lovely piece of spongeware down here. That's beautiful, isn't it? Another one for our collection. Yeah. Okay, so I just found a little tiny fragment of a doll's head. And look at the little bone next to her. It's whole. Is it whole? Yeah. Oh, so we've got a whole co a cod bottle? A whole poison bottle. It's cute and dinky. Oh, and a, how cute. a stopper in her neck. Oh, yeah, and the stopper's still in the neck. Here's, look. A, here's a clay pipe. And there's a play kite, and I see a play kite down here as well. Ow! And it's TW, and it's broken. Oh, and this one, oh, it has a little hand on it. And something's stamped on there. Oh, something, something. And a hand on that side. So we've got oh. a fragment of a doll's face, a poison bottle, and a stopper. Still in the neck, but we'll just take the stopper. Okay, this really is the last hole of the day. <laughs> We've come across one more. This place is bigger than we thought. Whoa! Look! Look! No! No! Oh my gosh! What is it? It's a frozen shell! It's a whole oh one! Oh my god! It's a whole one! No! It's a whole one! Oh it's yes! A it's our, oh, I'm actually like shaking with oh, excitement right now. It's our, God. it's our first complete frozen Charlotte doll. Our wow. first complete one ever. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. We did it. <sighs> okay, in other news, this is what I came over here for. Mum's got a huge handful of pipe balls. Yeah, that one's got the sort of a pattern up the, the oh, side. Yeah. But they're mostly just plain. But you know what they're good for? Making our little pipe houses. They certainly are. But Alex has found a frozen Charlotte. I am so happy. <laughs> this is the, it's so detailed as well. It's oh, a, a frozen one. Charlotte. I think it's actually got paint on it. No. Let's have a look. Let me zoom in. Look, I can see something in her eye. There's like black oh, yeah. paint on it or something. Oh my god, I'm gonna cast this. I'm gonna make necklaces with it. Wow, I'm gonna make little frozen Charlie. It might be a frozen Charlie. Yeah, it might be a little boy. It's probably like a little pudding doll. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Do you think it's a little pudding doll that yeah. went, maybe went into a pudding? Yeah. And you'd find it in your slice? Oh, I am so happy with that. That's, we can go home happy Yeah, now. that has made my day. <laughs> Thank God we came over to the last, this last hole. Yeah. <laughs>
So here are all of our really interesting finds actually. Yeah, actually I think this is probably one of our better hauls, definitely. Yeah. Some really exciting and interesting things here. So I think we'll start with our pipes. Yeah, look at all these pipe bowls. I know, <laughs> Pipasaurus rex. A lot of them are plain, but there are a few interesting ones. These three here. So this one, did you work out in the video the picture <laughs> on the bottom there? A Have another closer on look. The bottom. I thought it was a thorn at first, but when yeah. um, we got home and looked at it, I discovered that it was actually a dog's head. Yeah, so a little dog's congratulations head. Congratulations if you guessed correctly on that. But yeah, look, it's definitely a little dog's head. That We've never so found cute. anything like that before. No. So that's really cool. And our second ball here has a fishy on it. And this is the first time we've ever found a fish on a bowl. Yeah. Um, and you might recognize this fish because it's the one we used in our making video when we made these. Yeah, so we used this to imprint into clay and then we glazed them and made these little token cabochon yeah. things. So if you haven't seen that video, um, go and watch it. Go and watch it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so our third and final pipe actually has a bit of a story attached to it. And on it is a hand on one side, it says TW, and on the other side it says the green, and there's a tree, and then it says bar underneath. And there is um, a tavern local to um, the uh, where we found this pipe, which is called the Green Tree Tavern. So we're not sure if that's where it came from. Yeah. Um, I think there was also a green tree bar in Dublin in Ireland. So maybe it came over with a worker. So we're not sure about that. Yeah, but it says TW, which is associated yeah. with pipes in Thomas Scotland White. and England. Thomas White, we think, made or sold the moulds for pipes as well as manufacturing pipes himself. Because we have found a lot of pipes with other names on, but the TW on the bowl. Yeah. So that's really interesting, a bit of a yeah. mystery, but we've never found a pipe actually associated with a pub before, so that is really unusual. But Alex, you were reading about um, publicans actually producing pipes as well, weren't Yeah, you? some pubs actually produce their own pipes, and it actually threatened some of the full-time pipe makers, so um, they weren't very happy with the publicans actually making their own pipes. So that's really interesting, a yeah. little piece of history and a first for us. And here we have our little spongeware collection. We have some quite big chunks, actually, which show the patterns up absolutely beautifully. Yeah, some really lovely patterns and designs here. And this green and red, that's gorgeous. And this little egg cup, which I couldn't, I could not leave behind. It's broken, but we're thinking about cutting off the bottom and making it into a little pot. And that appears to be hand painted with overglaze, so. Yeah, some it's kind very of, it's, pretty. it looks very Art Nouveau, doesn't it? Yeah. Very beautiful. Um, this ceramic thing is a mystery. We've never found a square sort of um, stoneware pot before. Yeah, was this like an ink bottle? But it's square. Really weird. Yeah. Um, a beautiful tile and then our most interesting little piece of ceramic because this little piece here has a story attached to it. And it says manufactured for Cranston and Elliot, Edinburgh. So Cranston and Elliot's we're at 47 New Buildings, North Bridge, Edinburgh. And their advert says, the cheap central drapery warehouse. Departments which include millinery, shawls, drapery, ribbons, mantles, dresses, hosiery, laces, silk, prints, gloves, haberdashery, furs, flannels, winces, and a ladies outfitting department. And they did dressmaking and morning wear. Mm. And that's funny because we found yeah. what could be a morning button. Morning button there. And then I discovered that they also had a tea room and we found a postcard with an illustration of that tea room. And this little fragment of pottery has come from one of the plates from that very tea room. Yeah, how wonderful is that? So we've actually bought this postcard. Yeah, we couldn't resist buying <laughs> it. So, uh... And this is a picture of it on the screen right now and that's exactly where this plate would have come from how so, wonderful that's, not, that's so cool to I connect think I'm going, it, it was called the luncheon and tea rooms i think i'm going to call lunch lunch and yeah it now. sounds much better than just lunch isn't it yeah 
We've got some, a great selection of stoneware here and earthenware, pots which we're going to use to decorate, so watch out for that video. And down here we have a little lid, which actually has a bit of an interesting history. I thought it said Chavo, but I think it's Shavo. And it was a shaving soap or cream. And in the Dundee Evening Post of 1901, there is an advert for that, and I'll show you that right now. So that's interesting. The other interesting yeah. thing is that it's made from celluloid, and that's an early form of plastic, um, which is made from nitrocellulose and camphor with added dyes. And it was invented by Alexander Parks in Birmingham, Birmingham England in 1856, and it was known as Parkazine. The company was taken over by Daniel Spill in 1869, and he renamed it Xylonite. American John Wesley Hyatt patented Parks' invention, and there was a bit of controversy about that, um, in the USA, and it was named celluloid. And this celluloid was widely used in the production of movie and photography films and in all manner of other ways, including billiard balls, dolls, jewellery, buttons and, of course, lids. Well, there you go. So I, ha I didn't realise it was invented in England. Yeah. That's cool. OK, well, we've got some more lovely aqua bottles here, um, but we'll only talk about a few of them. This one actually says New York on the bottom. Yes, it's F, B and F, New York. So uh, we couldn't find out anything about that, but I think they were the glass and bottle manufacturer and not the contents. It looks like a little pill bottle yeah. to me. But if you know anything more about that, let us know down below. We've got some more poison smelling bottles and finally this one, which is a, a heartbreaker really. Yeah, it's all cracked and broken. This is called a cotton reel ink because, well, it looks like a cotton reel um, and it would have been a burst lip. Um, but as you can see, it's full of cracks and it's it's rarer because of its cobalt blue colour. Yeah, it's a beautiful colour, but we might use that. Yeah, we might. Uh, ink bottle blue beads. Ink bottle beads, yeah. <laughs> you'll just smash that up. Not that it's already completely smashed up anyway. Yeah. But And we love finding these. We've got two plant pots this time. One was found by mum, one found by me. But inside, we've got this intriguing ball of stuff <laughs> and we think this might be a very early golf ball yeah and it's probably leather it's not too heavy it's um weird and it's sort of obviously perished being yes. in the ground but um yeah we think it's a golf ball how cool is that an early golf ball now that's an unusual find it is very much like leather and it's very hard yeah Except it's not leather, it's gutta percha, a thermoplastic latex derived from the gutta percha tree. We didn't realise its value until afterwards, and we will be including it in a future video. Um, oh, actually another very interesting thing on this giant lid and our headless swan. We've got four marbles. Two of them are cod marbles, and this one is our very first, very rare, black cod marble. Black cod marble, it's amazing. It's sort of got bits of like flecks of white in it as well. I think that might be where it's actually just chipped oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit. But, but if you put a light behind it, it there, it's you can very, see very dark green. A little bit there. It's classed as Ooh. black. And it's interesting because these black cod marbles seem to be more um, prolific in Scotland. Yeah, There's in some areas in Scotland. Yeah, there been quite a few found. So, um, yeah. Great find. I yeah, think. and our only one, our first one and our only one, absolutely amazing. Fantastic. We've got hundreds of cod marbles. This stick of glass, actually, we think is some kind of stirring stick, yeah, isn't it? Swizzle stick. Swizzle stick, it, yeah. I'm thinking beads. Yeah, but it would be a shame to melt it because it's so pretty. Mm, maybe we could make something else out of it. Yeah. Um, and then finally, uh, the piece de la resistance is <laughs> these finds in the middle, my favourite finds down here. Um, we'll start with this. 
I like things that are a little bit morbid. Mum, not so much. I think that is absolutely disgusting. This is... <laughs> this is a fragment of someone's dentures from 100 years ago. And you can actually still see the plaque. Oh, that is so... There. Oh, that's so horrible. Don't touch it. Can you it. see it oh. in between the teeth? So whoever no. wore this wore it for a long time. There's a plaque, look. <laughs> no. Still attached to the old denture. I hope no one's... Wa- um, watching no <laughs> i hope no one's eating yeah at this sorry if you're having your dinner or something <laughs> but i'd love to find some with teeth in and i'd love to start find a whole specimen but yeah. it's very morbid and sorry it might have had really that. used human teeth um we've got this button here which actually just says suspender suspender yeah suspenders um, which could be either the American meaning of suspenders, as in braces, braces, holding your trousers up, or the British version of suspender, which held your stockings up. Yeah. So, so it's funny how they're very different from yeah. each other, aren't they? <laughs> oh, a cut glass bottle stop. We love finding oh, these. Yeah. And one of those lovely little finds. Um, we've got various pieces of doll's heads. Yep. For various... Some eyebrows for you. Can't have too many eyebrows. <laughs> no. That so I'm sure that will come in use for something. Um, we got an alley gob, a knuckle bow, and a five stone, whatever you want to call it. This is a little gaming piece. I just love finding those. I'll never tire of it. And the game is similar to the modern day jacks. So, yeah, yeah. Um, bit of doll's head. Mum found this glorious doll's arm. Yeah, I never find arms. We do. Neither of us do. We never find arms, but this one's lovely. Might cast that and make some jewellery. We got a doll's plate, which is another thing we love finding. A bit of doll's head there. But my favourite find, I think you can probably tell on yeah, the video Alex is my favourite. Over this. For some reason I just I lost <sighs> my, uh, my actual mind over this. But it's a little penny doll. And it's so complete as well. It doesn't look it it looks like its arms have been chopped off. It but does. It's just got stumps, I'm yeah. afraid. But that's how they were made, it's yeah. whole. But these were made in Germany in the 19th and early 20th century. And they weren't originally made as frozen charlottes. That story was attached to them afterwards. So originally they were just called penny dolls. Or pudding um, dolls. Or pudding yeah. dolls. And these little tiny ones were actually put in puddings. It's an old um, mm. tradition. I to... wouldn't like to um, you know, break my tooth on one of those. <laughs> no. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. He found a frozen Charlotte's pudding and broke his tooth. But yeah, so originally they were not called frozen Charlotte's at all, so they were called penny dolls, which is really interesting. Okay, and I think that is coin everything. Here. Oh, the coin's knackered. I can't get anything yeah, off that. It's a bit of a penny. <laughs> But, yeah, it's very corroded. But that concludes everything. And this was actually a really exciting trip. And we cannot wait to go back to that dump when the undergrowth has died off a bit now. It's, we're coming into autumn. Yes, it was so. another struggle through nettles, as usual. Yeah, I, we got so nettled. But, yeah, we had a great time, especially me with that frozen shot. I love it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it, too, and yep. seeing the finds. Uh-huh. And that just leaves us to say, once again, a huge thank you to everyone who's contributed to our channel in yes, any way. Yes, of course. And thank you for all your lovely comments. Thank you to all of our patrons and everyone who has liked and everyone who has subscribed. That's important. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not yes, already. Yes, and check to make sure you're still subscribed because sometimes um, YouTube can unsubscribe you for some reason. And hit the bell and then you'll get notifications <laughs> of all our new videos. Yeah. Look how many pie balls there is. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Bye.